Alright guys, how work I man cook series. I'm gonna make myself a chili. Um, you, you guys all know I like to cook in bulk, so what I'm gonna do is I got some uh, some beef here, turkey, and some pork. And I got a couple of things of um, linguisa and charisse. So this stuff's already cooked, basically. So I'll, I'll probably, you know, I'll render this stuff. I'll cook this stuff up, get the fat out of it, and then I'll give you guys shots as I put it together. I'm gonna put some on, cut some onions up, some green peppers, and some garlic. Let's just use this stuff that's already. And then when I got a couple of cans of kidney beans, can of pink beans, and pinto beans. And I got some tomato sauce, a couple of cans of, um, you know, cut diced tomatoes. And I got some salsa here. And put that in there. And if I need any juice, I'll use some of this beef beef broth here. I'm gonna have to see as I go, as I put it together, if I want to add stuff or if I want it thick or whatever I want to do. If I want to thin it out, I'll add some beef broth. I got chili powder and cumin. Need that cumin. Uh, you know, salt and pepper, obviously, and oregano. And I got this this crushed peppers here. I like to use this because spice it up a little bit. So what I'll do is I'll cook up all the meat, get that all rendered, and I'll give you some shots. But let me get this thing going, and I'll give you guys some shots. It should be really good, really good. Alright guys, I got the beef pretty much all done here. What I'll do is I'll uh, I'll tip the pan and, and get all the get all the fat out of it. The fat will drain out of there, and I'll you know soak that up with a paper towel. And get all the fat out of it, let it drain. Then that stuff will be ready to rock and roll, and I'll you know I'll prep the rest of the stuff to get it all pre-cooked. Turkey and a pork, I'll cook this run of this stuff down, get the fat out of it. Anyway guys, I got this all rendered down. I tipped it, I'm just getting rid of the fat. I just put a towel, paper towel in there and soak it up. inside this container for now. I got the hamburg, the pork, and the turkey burger. I'll be able to mix it all up. So I got two sherries, two linguisa in there. My hands are all clean. I'll just kind of break this up and kind of cook this down a little bit. And there's really not a lot of. There might be some fat in here, but this doesn't have any casings on it. This stuff, so I'll just cook this a little bit. Get ready to rock and roll here. Kind of put it in the pan so I could break it up good here. It's a lot of meat. We're making a big chili here, so.
over, guys. I got my big pan here. The reason I'm using this pan because it's got a thick bottom on it. You can see it's got a thick, thick base. So I won't burn it with this. I'm going to put all my meat in there. The cherise, the hamburg, the linguisa, the um, pork, and, and the turkey. So... with a slow cook that next thing I'll do is I'll get these beans all prepped up and we'll throw them in there one at a time all right guys the next thing I'm gonna do is get the onions green pepper all right I got garlic minced garlic there and I got the uh, crushed red peppers throwing that in there two cans of kidney beans. I'm not rinsing them, I'm throwing them in the sauce and all. So it's gonna make it a little thicker for the chili. Sometimes I rinse them, but not in this case. The stone, that's, that's one can of red kidney. Two cans of red kidney. One can of pinto. One can of pink beans. And a tomato sauce, hunts. Two cans of cut up diced tomatoes, petite cup. Chunky salsa. Now what I could do is if I, you know, I could add a little bit of beef broth because obviously it's a little thick, so I'll add some beef broth. One, can, one container of beef broth. Now if I want to thicken it up a little bit, I could use some, uh, some flour to thicken it if I wanted. But I think it's going to be good, just like that. It's looking really good. My seasoning, cumin, smell this, this cumin smells a lot like uh, chili, and I got some chili powder here, I'll put some chili powder in there, pepper, A 
oregano. Now I don't need to go with a lot of salt because I use them, you know, canned beans and stuff. So there's quite a bit of salt in there, but uh, I'm gonna add a little bit fine sea salt. And stir it all up. And that's looking good right there. I can see that, but that's that's gonna be some good. And it's kind of it's kind of liquidy, and as I heat it up, it's gonna I'll cook it. I'll cook it on low, you know. I have to stir it every so often, but that's looking pretty damn good. It's about that much in there. I like using this pan because it's got a thick bottom on it. just before lunch. smelling good, ain't no doubt about that. A little watery. I might throw a can of rice peel off in there, thicken it up a little bit. How working men cook. All right, guys. I threw two boxes in there. Rice, rice peel off. How working guys cook. Nothing's carved in stone. We go. We change things as we go. Throw a little bit of rice peel off in there. I'll thicken it up. I've been stirring this thing every so often. Every you know, 20 minutes or something. I got it on low. I don't want to cook it. You don't want it too hot because you'll cook the middle of it, you know. So, just kind of simmering away there. Low and slow. Low and slow. I'm stick the fork right in there. It's nice. I've been stirring it. Added the rice to it. Thickened it up a little bit. I'm thinking it's pretty much done. That's a fork, obviously, so. Looking really good. I've been cooking it on really low. Just barely simmering it as low as I can go with the flame, basically. It's pretty much done. Been cooling for a little while. Nice and thick. Just perfect, see it? Obviously I'm gonna I got a whole bunch of leftovers here I'm gonna put in containers and freeze it, but I got my little 
little bowl here put together. Been letting it cool for a little bit. Looking really good. Looking really good. Let's try some. Really good. Very, very good. You can taste the cumin in there. The chili powder. Definitely can taste it. Extremely good, very good, very good. Now how working guys cook? I post these videos because a lot of the guys that watch me are working guys. And um, you know, like at the end it was a little it was a little watery. I added the rice peel off to thicken it up, no big deal. There's nothing carved in stone when cooking, you can change things as you go. Add stuff or whatever. It's come out good though. Come out real good. Got a little zing to it. But it's definitely tasty. Ain't no doubt about it. Definitely tasty. Definitely tasty, guys. Mmm. Very good. Extremely good. Very, very good. Very good. You want some, Susie? Who's the star of the show right here? This is my girl. She's looking for leftovers. She's looking for floor droppings. Alright guys, I got it all you know containers and I'm gonna freeze it. So that's uh, three, six, nine, twelve. So that's enough for twenty-four meals. So that's how working guys cook. Okay? I'll make a big batch. I freeze it and then I'll take it out as I want it. I could have it in there, you know, for six months if I want. It's not a problem. I got a deep freezer in the cellar, and that's how I do it. That's why I call the series How Real Working Men Cook. I was cooking bulk. And it should be great. You know, just, you know, take it out, put it in the refrigerator for a couple of days, and then just take half of that and zap it in the microwave, and I'm good to go.